the global economy is recovering, yet markets remain volatile. Should investors be concerned? I'm Aaron, and with me are two experts, Mr. Heng Kun Hao and Mr. Anthony Raza, to share their views of what investors can expect in the months ahead. Let me start with Kun Hao. What is the outlook of the global economy? So, it's been just you know, a very short one year since COVID-19 first broke out, and the world's economy has recovered by leaps and bounds. In the US, we expect GDP to be as strong as 6.3%. China's economy will do the heavy lifting with an outsized 8.5% GDP bump. In Singapore, we see strong growth of 5.5% as well. So all these growth numbers we have not seen in the decade before COVID-19 happened. So this means that investors may start to worry about the unwelcome return of inflation. Inflation may be a good problem amidst of global recovery. Where can inflation come from and will this cause interest rates to rise higher? You have the strong rises in industrial commodity prices, energy prices. You have the pent-up consumer spending demand. You have the unprecedented jump in household savings rate in the US and everywhere in the world. And of course, higher wage costs. All this may add to inflation in the months ahead. Our view at UOB on interest rate outlook is like both sides of a coin. On one end, the US Federal Reserve has committed not to hike interest rates anytime soon because they see all this inflation risk as transitory. As such, short-term money market rates, we expect them to be stuck near zero, you know, at least for the rest of this year. However, the long-term bond yields have all climbed and will continue to grind higher. This is because of the rising inflation expectation and rising fiscal risk. So we have raised our 10-year US Treasury's yield forecast to 2.0% by the end of this year. Thanks, Kun Hao. So Tony, what will this mean for global markets? Well, so far in the first quarter of 2021, global investors' confidence in the recovery has grown as the vaccines have been rolled out ahead of schedule, as the economic data points continue to point to a strong recovery. Also, corporate earnings continue to beat expectations, and across the world, earnings growth rates are averaging over 20%. This is all leading to greater confidence that we are in the early years of a recovery cycle. Growth assets like equities, corporate bonds, and commodities all tend to outperform the safer assets like government bonds and holding cash. The trends in a sort of modestly weaker US dollar and a strong rebound in global exports imply that Asian companies are well positioned. We also think that the mega trends in healthcare, innovation, and sustainability are all on track. Investors can continue to use short term, short duration fixed income to keep the volatility of their portfolios down. Overall, for 2021, we think this is going to be a much healthier year for investing. So, turning back to Kun Hao, what's in the horizon for currencies, especially for the US dollars? The FX market will likely be very volatile this year. Uh, simply because currencies will need to adjust to rising you know, long-term bond yields. On the surface, you know, higher US Treasury bond yield should be positive for the US dollar. However, if you agree that this is a strong recovery, you know, Asian economies do well, this means renminbi and Asian currencies should on balance be strong. Therefore, US dollar may be weak. Overall, we believe that the US dollar will grind lower against the Singapore dollar to about 132 by the end of the year. However, do take note, if bond yields spike further or if the Fed starts to turn hawkish, then the US dollar may well strengthen anew. Thank you gentlemen for your insights. For investors, we recommend the following actions. Invest according to your risk appetite. Markets can remain volatile even as the economy recovers. Consider short duration over long dated bonds to have regular cash flows while reducing the impacts of higher yields. Invest in sectors that benefit from economic reopening such as cyclicals like banks and consumer discretionary while maintaining exposure to Asian and quality growth equities. Continue to build exposure to megatrends over time to capture the full benefits of your long-term drivers. Speak to a UOB advisor to find out how you can look beyond inflation woes to uncover investment opportunities suitable for you.